Now, since we're talking about preventative measures, let's talk about the fact that the government is now including the HPV vaccine for cervical cancer for 9 and 10 year olds. I mean, what do you think about that? Well, I'm telling you, we are very grateful to the Minister of Health and the Department of Health for the reason, if you look at cervical cancer such, you know, in South Africa, it is very, very significant because of our women. It is the second highest risk for cancer after breast, and especially with black ladies. And it's a second highest incidence in all other uh, uh, women in South Africa anyway. You know, just in Sub-Saharan, uh, in Africa, there's about 71,000 people annually diagnosed with cervical cancer, of which up to more than 60,000 die. Because if you are not diagnosed in the early stages, you've got a only a 20% chance of survival in the late stages. So in South Africa, at least 6,000 people are diagnosed with cervical cancer every year, of which 3,500 about are dying. Worldwide, more than six and a half people die every second. So what are we doing? We need to curb the infectious, this infectious cancer. Now, you know, human papilloma virus is actually a very interesting virus. You get about 100 types. And all people worldwide are actually contaminated or they've got this infection or HPV virus in them. At least 70 to 80 percent of all people. But it doesn't become a disease. Now, there are more than 100 types of HPV of this virus. And the more pertinent ones in South Africa that causes cervical cancers, which is the main cancer caused by HPV, is 16 and 18. Now, we are so grateful that this vaccine is there to prevent it and actually focusing on these 16 to 18. And uh, what is important here, people must know that it is actually transmitted through sexual behavior, one of the ways. But they found that this uh, uh, vaccine is very effective if you give to young ladies the age about before puberty. And for that reason, they decide on the age 9 to 10 to make sure, because it's true, you know, our young people going into puberty much at a much younger age. And we're grateful because it's a lot of money that the government is putting out for this. You know, in Brazil, it is compulsory. In this country, the parents must sign consent. Now I want to urge parents, please, the, really the side effects of this vaccination is not much. It's really local, like with all other immunization. But help your child prevent them from being infected by this because it's a very effective vaccine. And we cannot allow so many of our young people and, our, and the women in this country dying from cervical cancer any longer.